Hello gorgeous Virgos, how's everyone doing? Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for you and your person, boo-boo. So whatever that means to you, situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage, and we're going to be taking a look at the second half of April, uh, April 2022, but whenever uh, this message finds you, as long as it resonates for you, it is probably meant for you, boo-boo. Uh, please show angels what is happening for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and their person. What is happening for Virgo? To take a look at your person's feelings about the situation, your feelings about the situation, yeah, and what happened here to make it so please, angels. Also, Virgo, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment below, because uh, it really helps me out as a small creator. Um, also, your likes uh, push the video out so other Virgos can get the message too. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'll still love you, uh, but it would really, really help me. Okay, um, so let's get into your reading now, uh, baby. By the way, I'm Virgo Moon, so <sighs> these reads, you know what I mean? Like, it hits different. So uh, let's see what's happening for us right now, Virgo. Um, I do see, okay, I see a lot of hurt and heartbreak here between two people. So I feel like you're not the only one hurting here. Your person is hurting too, although it might come as a surprise to you. For some reason, I felt like saying that. I don't know why, but... Uh, it might come as a surprise to you. This person is actually feeling all sensitive and raw about the situation. You could be dealing with another earth sign. There's a lot of earth sign energy all over this reading. It doesn't have to be. It could just be someone who seems like, you know, this kind of earthy, grounded, maybe unmoved, not very sensitive being that you're dealing with, Bill. Your person is having sleepless nights here, Four of Swords. Uh, they're also like trying very hard not to think about the situation currently. Like they're doing everything in their power not to think about you. So all they think about is you, Virgo. Not gonna lie. Uh, this person has insomnia. Some of you, and you already know this, it's like an ongoing issue they have for some of you. It doesn't have to resonate for everyone, but I see someone who has like, this person cannot sleep at night. And uh, they actually cannot sleep at night now because they're thinking of you, but they always have this problem. Now it's even worse. Like now it's just like, they go for days, for days without sleeping. Um, Two of Pentacles, this is someone who is in this perpetual uh, state currently of going back and forth on what they need to do. Uh, should I go this way? Should I go, go that way? Should I contact Virgo? Should I not contact Virgo? Should I, you know, what should I do? I don't really know which way to go is how your person is feeling currently. They're also dealing with a lot of different things at the moment. They might have a lot of problems and they have so many balls up, the, uh, up in the air. It's like any minute now, something's going to fall and like um, it might mean tragedy to them. I don't know how that resonates for you, but this person is really concerned. Uh, they could have money concerns. Uh, they could have uh, other types of concerns, but they have troubles. They have worries and they have so they have so many problems, you know, but you're the problem that's truly keeping them up at night. Uh, but money is coming up here also. Money is coming up here too. Deep, deep. Yeah. Uh, but they're getting ready. Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, again, earth energy. They're getting ready to make you some kind of on, uh, of an offer, even though it's been slow coming. So this is someone who's uh, been on pause with you for a while, I feel, or it feels like a while, because you know, if, if, uh, for some of us, I'm Scorpio Sun and Rising, by the way. So like one day is an entire lifetime. Anything can happen in that time. Um, but Virgo uh, is a little bit more patient. So, you know, maybe it's been months, maybe it's been hours, maybe it's been days, who knows, but it's like slow, 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 slow. This person disappointed you very, very much, like greatly. This person greatly disappointed you. I do feel like if you didn't end this, like someone ended this or someone put this on pause and I feel like I feel like it was you because you have like a lot of kind of cutting off energy here. You've got the Justice and the Queen of Swords. You know, this is someone who's done with the BS. 
um, if you didn't end it, you would have ended it. Like, and this person knew it, so they just eliminated themselves from your inquiries kind of situation. Like, it was, this was going towards you cutting yourself off from this person and judging them. There's a lot of judgment energy here, like literal judgment in what happened between you, and you have justice on your side. So I do feel like you were the one judging them. You called them out. It was clear to this person, you could see that they were full of uh, ish, and they were like, you know, if they did end things, it was because they could see it coming. Uh, but I feel more like you cut this off. What was this uh, judgment regarding? Please show me, angels. Oh, Virgo. Why do we always have to be someone's doctor, huh? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I know. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, like where is this situation going? Where is this relationship going? You could also see, you could tell you were observing this person for a while. You were observing them. You were watching them. There was something about their behavior that was suspicious. Tell me more, please, angels. This person was a little suspicious. doesn't mean they did anything like super bad. It just means like, you know, you just realize maybe this person isn't ready for commitment. Maybe they can't give me what I need, you know? Uh, yeah, Page of Swords. You did a lot of spying here, Virgo. Virgo, boo-boo, you're like watching over this person. Some of you legit, okay, this is between you and me, Virgo, and we both know, we're like, people don't know this about us, but we know everything, right? Like, if we want to know something, we know something. We are the kings, queens, anyone in between of research, right? We are the research, okay? And we're the moon, so we see stuff like, we see everything in the dark. Virgo, you were spying on this person, and when I say spying, I don't mean like, oh, you were like, um stock in their Instagram I mean like you put some spyware in their phone okay like I'm not kidding and I'm not blaming you there's times when it's necessary you had suspicions you followed this person some of you if this was a long-term connection no jokes like you hired a like a private detective to gather evidence for an acrimonious divorce like no jokes like it was that like some of you it was like a high profile case almost but you like, you did, like you, you did, you like, you made sure you knew. And if that doesn't resonate for you, it is uh, internal, you know, internal research, internal struggle, like searching for answers inside of you to try and make a decision, to try and make a judgment regarding this connection. It felt to you also like you were giving and giving and giving the bill and you were like trying to like talk, trying to make this person love you back was like trying to resurrect like someone from the dead, like Lazarus kind of situation. Like this person was a little dead inside and you got tired of fixing their problems. They had like personality issues. They had some kind of trauma they didn't even know themselves about, but you could tell because you're a healer and you were like, wow, like I'm here for you. I'm here to listen to you. I'm here to to assess the situation. I'm here to talk about where we're going. I'm here to like, you know, heal your ghosts and past wounds. And I'm here to battle these ghosts. But like, you were getting nothing in return. Nothing in return. Like, three of wands here, right next to it. You just kept feeling like you were standing on the shore here. You know, this is like your love. And you were just never in the water. The water is emotions and feelings. You're just, you know, kind of Try to make a go for it. You, you know, you were the one initiating. You were the one making this person feel comfortable. It, you know, if it was an early dating situation, you were the one texting, you know what I mean? Or you were the one that was making yourself available or accommodating this person in some way because you could tell that this person had issues. They do have issues. More, more earth sign energy here, Taurus energy, king of pentacles. It could very well be that this person just has an issue with showing their feelings. Um, because, and that's always from past trauma. This is like, Tarot's not telling me this. I'm just telling you. You know this, Bibel. I know it. We know it. Virgos together, we know it, right? <laughs> like, we know how it goes. Um, yeah, the moon. Yeah, this person had issues about like, you know, uh, being in touch with uh, their goddess side, the side of feelings, the side of emotions, the side of uh, divine femininity, it doesn't matter what their gender was. Um, they just weren't in touch with uh, their moon side, their soul, their unconscious. They didn't want to think about things. They didn't want to talk about things. They didn't want to engage. They just wanted to like, just wanted everything to be surfaced because this person, and it's not that, okay, so here's the thing for go. It's not that this person doesn't love you because they do. 
okay? I see they love you, but they just weren't able to express it and they just have a lot of issues in themselves that they're not able to talk about love, not able to be fully present in a connection. Uh, and that's why it felt to you like you were constantly trying to get this person to open up and they just wouldn't. Um, you know, whatever that reason was, I feel like this person has some kind of a secret. It doesn't have to be. So take it as it resonates. Remember, it's a general reading. There will be messages and keywords scattered uh, throughout it for you. It's not gonna, not everything will be for you, boo-boo. Uh, I mean, it could be, might be. Um, check out your other placements as well. But this person had a secret. There's, there's something they were protecting, like, inside of themselves. And it doesn't have to mean that they had, they could have had a secret, like, like a bad secret. But, not cheating, I'm not picking up cheating, so don't worry. But they had a secret in the sense of like, who they were or how they felt or something that happened to them, you know, who, it's, it's one of those like, well, who hurt you, boo-boo? And they like, you know, how they really feel, like, you know, they were just secretive about their feelings and emotions because this person doesn't feel comfortable. Uh, talking about things you know they just don't feel comfortable talking they don't feel comfortable sharing of themselves but it could have been that they had an actual secret some kind of a secret that they don't want you to know 100 could have been to do with money stability or their home yeah but this person has a lot of um this person sees you if you're not married or you know if the a relationship was not com super committed 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 um, this person sees you as marriage material. They see you as someone they want to protect. You wouldn't even know it, boo-boo, right? Like, you wouldn't even know it. This person has some kind of inner conflict. They're dealing with something you don't know about, the devil here. Uh, this is their secret. They have some kind of a secret. They could be... This is juicy, okay. Why are my readings always like soap opera? I know why, because I am, but like it's always a soap opera here. It's never like, I can't, I wish I could do these general readings where I just say, yeah, this person in their soul feels, you know, a lot of negative energy. No, it's just always like super specific and it's always drama. So I feel like this person, you're dealing with someone as a secret and for some of you their secret is they have a substance abuse problem or they have a past. They have a past you don't know about. Could be to do with a life of crime even maybe, or a life of like, you know, maybe they used to like live on the streets because they were a drug addict. Like there's some, they have some kind of a past that still has a hold on them. It could be a partner too, but it's all in the past, but the past is still like tugging at their chains. Or they could be in an active, it could be active substance abuse, something nefarious and dark. Something they knew if they told you about, you would not be okay with it, Boo Boo. And it would uh, destroy uh, the home you have currently or had with them or the home they had in mind to have with you. There's something this person was trying to hide from you, Boo Boo. Uh, temperance, this person does want to heal this relationship, but it is a slow moving healing energy. They do want to heal this though. Uh, two of swords and five of wands. <laughs> But, the, oh my God, see, this is a problem. So they don't know how to go about this. Two of swords. And again, see, this is the devil here. This is that little secret this person has too. On the one hand, they don't know how to go about this to uh, kind of, you know, reunite with you and make this work. On the other hand, this person is aware that if you got, if they come in for a conversation to heal this with this temperance here, you're going to want to know stuff that they were hiding from you. They know that they're going to have to come to an understanding with you here with the five of uh, wands. And they're going to have to explain themselves to you. And it's not going to be pleasant. Um, it's almost like, you know, this is like the end of the road. This person needs, they know they need to come. If they want to heal this, they need to come in. And they need to tell you the truth of the matter, this little secret they were hiding from you, why they were so like unable to participate in the uh, energetic exchange of love when you were together. Goddess Athena here, the goddess of, um, of wisdom. Um, uh, in in this deck, though, uh, they say protectress, but also, you know, this is this is uh, the goddess who sees everything, just like Virgo. You know, uh, this owl here. You know, the owl sees things uh, in the dead of night, so this person knows they can see stuff. 
you feel stuff like you you get a sense there's something uh fishy about this person like you know there's a splash you have this five of uh, uh um, cups here too uh you know you've been disappointed and you know also ever since you two separated you've been thinking about this person you've been thinking about their suspicious behavior you've been putting two and two together as well whatever this person is struggling with they, they do have pro they do come up in problems they have many problems let me know in the comments below, you know, is it substance abuse? Is that what you're suspecting? Is it something else? Are they in financial trouble? They did something bad? Like this person is just in some kind of trouble. I do feel they're going to come in. It might take, a, it's going to be like, you know, they're scared. So it might take, a, it might take a while. Let's see. Although perhaps the goddess Athena will intervene. Also Virgo, if you want to get a uh, goddess guidance, I do read through the prism of goddess energy and the goddess path. Um, whatever you believe in is your, obviously your choice. But if you want to connect to the goddess uh, through this reading with me, um, you can always connect to the energy of the goddess Athena because she did come up here for you today. And she does appear also uh, low key in the justice card. You know, justice is wisdom, uh, wisdom, mercy, justice. So, um, you know, this could be a guide for you this month. Uh, the goddess Athena might help you with your love life uh, this month. Yeah, strength. Be strong. Be strong. It's also this person, you know, uh, this is advice for you. Be strong. But also this person is grappling with their addiction. This person feels like um, you're a reason to, yeah, I keep getting this thing with addiction. So, uh, but, it, you know, take it as it resonates. It doesn't have to be addiction, but some kind of a secret. Um, but this person feels like you have the power, like you're, they're motivated to change and to heal because you're giving them the power and the strength to do that. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They see you as healing, uh, you're healing to them. Okay, what about the long-term prospects here? Yeah, but be careful because I feel like whatever this person is involved in, uh, they might bring you, yeah, this person is going to bring you a lot of disappointment. They have the potential to. I mean, remember, nothing is set in stone. It's only a, a tarot. I'm just a tarot reader on the internet, right? But with the Five of Swords here and the Hermit card in the long term here for you and this person, what I see is this person coming back in to heal the situation, but they're, you know, uh, they're still not sure today how much truth they're going to give you. So I feel like I see this person coming back in, but maybe not telling you the entire truth and then having to lie and kind of um, betray you again with the five of swords percent. Or if they tell, they're going to come in and tell you the truth, right? Um, I'm really not getting a time frame for, for when they're coming in. I really don't know. I'm not feeling it. I just feel like it's going to be delicate, like quiet, definitely in springtime or late springtime. So uh, April, May, I think maybe June, but this person is going to come in and they're going to, they might lie, you know, and if they tell you the truth, they, they might come in and be like, okay, I'm going to come clean. I'm an addict. That's why I was behaving crazy. And you're going to be like, okay, well, let's like heal it, work together, whatever, because Virgo is a sucker for that kind of stuff. Right. And then this person is just going to uh, choose the addiction again, you know, just be careful because they might choose the addiction. doesn't have to be. I feel like it could be you know how it is with addicts or like whatever it is that they're involved in. If they're involved in some kind of nefarious activities or, or just like lying, bad things, you know, in their life, they're in some kind of trouble. They're just, it's just going to be a cycle no matter how much they want to get out of it. Like their intentions are pure. They do want to get out of it. Um, their, their love for you is real. They see, they, they want to protect this love too. You know, they feel very protective of this love with you, but at the same time, they're just like, you know, uh, their willpower may not be strong enough to sustain that. So it might, th there could be a lot of ups and downs in the long term with this person. So tread carefully, uh, but they do want to talk. That's for sure. Uh, Virgo, this is what I have for you. Let me know in the comments below uh, how this is resonating for you. Who is this person that you're dating? Um, or, well, currently not speaking to, but who is this person? Um, and also, Virgo, don't forget, I have a new podcast out with another fellow Virgo, um, Debbie Wild, friend of the channel. A uh, podcast is called Tarot Love Doctors. And the link to that is in the description box below. And if you'd like to get a private personal reading with me, uh, that information and my contact information is also down below. Uh, boo boo, uh, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Take care of yourself and maybe angels protect you.